Okay, loves, so as promised, I am back on Sunday to do my BoxyCharm Base Box and BoxyCharm Luxe sent in PR for the month of September. I am so excited to go through all of the products with you guys and create this look that I have right here on right now with all of the products that we were able to use for the look. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely keep on watching. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back. My name is Jeannie and this is Sips, Lips, and Makeup Tricks. Here we do Boxy Charm and Ipsy. I do makeup hauls, makeup and skincare reviews, and makeup looks. I also do monthly giveaways here on my channel and my September giveaway is open right now. All you have to do is be subscribed and then leave a comment on the giveaway video. I will link it in the description box below to make it easy if this is your first time here and you want to check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. Now today I am super excited because I'm going to unbox my very first BoxyCharm PR box. Um, I just got on the PR list this month, so I didn't get my boxes in the beginning of the month. Like normally they would be here in the beginning of the month, and I promise next month the first day that we're allowed to air our boxes, I will be on here with mine to show you what we're getting and what we're seeing in BoxyCharm for that month. But for now, we're going to have fun with what I have. I don't think I've ever been on here this barefaced, but I know some of the things. We're going to try everything together that we can try, so that is why I'm barefaced. And I do want to preface and say, you guys, if you hear my kids, I apologize now. My one-year-old and two-year-old have been out of control the last week, and I don't have, like, a soundproof filming studio or anything like that here. Maybe one day if my channel ever gets big, but... Right now, if you hear him screaming, I just apologize right off the rip. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump on into the base box. Now, I think normally I will just be getting the base box in PR, but they were really nice. And this time they sent me the PR base and Lux box for the month of September. So this is the base box. And... First and foremost, the choice item for this box was the Glam Glow Mud. Now, I chose this for my paid-for box as well, and I also picked another one up in add-ons. So, I really don't need three of them. I will hold on to this and put it into an upcoming giveaway for one of you guys to win. It is a great product, by the way. I tried it out for the first time the other night. It does tingle when it goes on but it left my skin like a baby's butt. I really, really like it. So I've got, well, I'll have one coming. And guess what, you guys? My add-on order for this month is already almost here, and add-ons is still open. That is crazy fast. They are getting really good at shipping this stuff out quicker. At least that's been my experience as of lately. So that is awesome. And by the way, this Glam Glow does retail for $60. This is a great brand. And next in the box, we do have a Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick. It says it hydrates lips in highly pigmented liqueur, like a sheen like sheen with a velvety satin finish it does retail for twenty dollars i got the shade day slayer and it looks to be right up my alley we are going to try all of the products out but first let's just see what we got next i do have from georgette klinger the morilla primer it says, blur imperfections and ensure an all-day radiant finish, hydrating and long, long wearing. It cushions skin with advanced hyaluronic acid. Love that. Ensuring silky smooth makeup application that won't settle into pores, fine lines, or dry areas. Well, that is, I'm really, really interested in this. I love primers. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I am a primer chick. So especially a primer that is said to target pores, fine lines, and dry skin. That is right up my alley. 
um, a nourishing blend of marilla oil and vitamin A, E, F, and B. Locks in moisture and protects against visible signs of aging. Ideal for all and silicone-based foundation formulas. Heck yeah, I'm excited to try this. It does retail for $32. And in fact, I'm going to put it on now and let it soak in. I like to do that with my primers. Um... I like to let them sit for a while before I go on with the rest of my makeup. So now would be a good time to put it on. This is the consistency. It did come out a little faster than I thought. So I might have grabbed a little too much, but it's okay. So it's really a slippery foundation. It feels nice going on. It does feel hydrating got a little bit of a cooling feel but that's probably just the gel like consistency I definitely scored it out just a bit too much but that's okay because I love my primers your makeup is only going to look as good as the base underneath so primers are very important especially as you start to get a little bit older and I really like to focus them in my problem areas I've got fine lines right here really like to get it in there in my t-zone yeah so it does leave a bit of a tacky finish which is good too for makeup to adhere to so yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Next in the box from Pinky Rose Cosmetics, we do have the multi-use makeup base sticks. This is Pump Your Base. It's got two multi-use sticks in here. It does retail for $20. Now, I also got this in my paid-for box. I actually created a look with it when I unboxed that box. If you want to see the look I created the other day with these, I will also link that video in the description box below. So it was my paid-for September box, which you guys, by the way, was probably my favorite base box that I've ever received from them. It was awesome. But since I already have these, I will put this in an upcoming giveaway for one of you. And I will create the look with the ones that I have from my paid for box. So I will pull those out so we can work with those when we get to the eyes. And then last but not least, we do have the insert name here, Quick Slick Hair Essence. It says, Quick Slick is designed to quickly and easily touch up hair, no alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, non-irritating, non-flaking essence to slick and smooth the baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. I've got a little hair stuck to my lip. <laughs> it does retail for $22. Okay, now... I'll be honest, probably not the most exciting thing to get in a subscription box. However, I'm a waitress and constantly have to wear my hair up when I'm at work. And technically, we're supposed to do like a really tight bun at my work because it's in, it's a higher end place. It's supposed to um, be slicked back and in a bun. And I have a ton of baby hairs, as you can see, like because of, probably because I bleach my hair. So I will actually get some use out of this. This is what the packaging looks like. And let's see. So it looks like a mascara wand. And I smell the peach a bit. Let's just see. So I know you probably can't even see on camera the little hairs that I did have sticking up. But they are there. And this actually does seem to be combing them back so I will definitely get some use out of this it's probably something I will keep in my purse especially for my work days so I'm excited to have it again probably not the most exciting thing I've ever received in one of my boxes but definitely something that I can use now if you're somebody that doesn't wear your hair up or you know, then you may not be too happy with it, but it's something that I would use. I think it's a decent product to have. So that is everything we got in the base box. So let's just do a recap. We got the Glam Glow for $60. We got the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick in this one, <laughs> in Day Slayer. 
This retails for $20. We got the Pinky Rose Pump Your Base Multi Sticks. This again retails for $20. We got the Georgette Clinger Primer. It retails for $32. And we got the Insert Name Here Quick Slick, which retails for $22. So again, not bad. And as far as I'm concerned, you guys, for $20. $25. Sure, there has been boxes that have not been my favorite, but I don't care. For $25, the amount of amazing products that I have been able to try through my subscription is completely worth it. And not to mention, being able to access their member-only sales is totally worth it for me. Sometimes you're not going to have a box that every single item is something you're wowed by, but in the end of the day, it is still totally worth it as far as I'm concerned. So, and I think that this is a decent box. These are actually really cool. Like I said, I love the look that I made with it the other day. Today, we're going to try something different. I'm not going to do two exactly same looks with it. <clears throat> so we'll try another one. And that way, if you're interested in seeing two different looks that you could possibly make with it, check out this video and then the paid for box as well, which like I said, I will link that in the description box below. Now, before we go on in to the look, let's check out Buxy Buxy Boxy Lux. <laughs> and not having an easy talking day today and we'll see what we can use in here for the look as well now for this box this is a quarterly upgrade for the base box and it does cost $49.99 and what will happen is on the months that you get your Lux box you won't receive your base box and you'll receive the Lux instead for my subscription I do the base box and the premium box every single month so I don't do the Lux in my subscription just because I really like my base boxes and then I also do get the premium every month as well so with this one believe we're guaranteed one two three four five six seven yes eight items and let's just jump on in this is a different card see the base and the premium both were a boxy bts behind the scenes for this month but this one seems to be different it says boxy lux it is a cute card and then on the flip side we always do have all of the items in our box and the retail value and a little bit of information about each one as well so let's just go down the line here first we've got the rare beauty blot and glow kit retouches it says it's in translucent Blotting powder and blotting papers, 100 sheets. So it says, a refillable two-in-one compact with blotting papers and radiant powder filled puff for freshening up on the go. Cut shine, not glow. With these refillable, mess-free, stress-free essentials. Absorbent blotting sheets, you get 100 of those. Gently lift away excess oil while keeping makeup in place. Okay. Universal pre-filled powder puff contains a radiant, talic-free powder for extra shine control with a soft blurring effect that never looks flat. And it won't flash back. Okay. Well, that is cool. It does retail for $26. Okay. So we will open it up and check it out really quick because I am interested. So I'm assuming it says it's a pre-filled puff. So I don't think that there will be any loose powder in here, which is actually really convenient for on the go, especially if you do have oily skin and you do your makeup and then you, you tend to have your oil popping through midday. I don't have that problem, but... Okay, so yes, apparently the powder is already filled in here, and this is what it looks like. And then on this side, we have the blotting sheets. It does also come with a mirror. So that's actually really cool and convenient, especially if you do have oilier skin. So I'm interested to give it a try. Um, I don't necessarily have oily skin, but we will check it out. Now, and next, I do have the Iconic London 
Triple Threat Mascara. It retails for $26. It says, fed up with falsies? Meet the gold standard of mascaras. An ultra black stunning weightless formula that volumizes, lengthens, and lifts lashes all day and night with a dramatic fluttery look. The easy to handle slim brush gets right to the root of your lashes for an instant smoldering fuller lash line while the defense bristles separate and coat lashes evenly with deep black intense fullness and length the best alternative to false lashes well we will definitely check this out in our look today okay next ooh next from Saturday skin. We I love Saturday skin. I'm somebody who loves getting skincare in my boxes, so I am definitely excited for this. Um, Saturday skin pretty pop probiotic powder whipped cream. What? What are you? It retails for $57. It's a soft and luxurious whipped cream with encapsulated probiotics activated by prebiotics for healthy and radiant looking skin. Ooh. And it's a $57 product. This is what it looks like. It does have cute packaging with the iridescent. Wow, it really does look like whipped cream. Very light smell. It's not perfumey or anything like that. So I will definitely be checking this out for sure. I am really excited to have this. That is really cool. Okay, next we do have... Okay, so we've got something from Cab Cosmetics. This is the Volume 1 Contour Palette. Hopefully, Volume 1 is the lighter version. Um, it does retail for $60. Wow, okay. I actually got a palette in one of my boxy charms from them before. Um, the palette was okay, but I'll be honest with you, I don't reach for it much. I played with it once or twice and I thought it was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. This does come with a really nice big mirror. And these are the colors. So it definitely does look like it's the lighter option, I think. Yeah, I would definitely think that this is the lighter option. So I should be able to get some use out of this. And we will definitely check it out in my makeup look today. It's a huge palette. I'm kind of shocked that it retails for $60, to be honest with you. It says, this matte contour palette contains eight silky powders that blend effortlessly into the skin for the perfect contour every time. Use the darker shades for a chiseled striking contour and the lighter shades under your eyes and the other points of your face for an instant lifting effect okay so we will definitely check this out with the look today next in line we do have the Ad adiago how do i say that Adiagio. <laughs> yeah, I do not know how to say that name, you guys, but it is a not so mini flat iron. Okay, it retails for $99. It says the flat iron features 100% ceramic plates that radiate for flat in infrared heat, helping to minimize damage to the hair. The unique floating plates designed allow you to smoothly straighten and style hair, resulting in a shiny, silky, no frizzy, manageable hair with unlimited styling potential. So $99. I don't straighten my hair too much because I do have really fine hair and straightening it really can be damaging. Um, but I will definitely give this a try. Um, Let's see how big it is. So this is the size of it. Okay. 
I mean, this looks nice. I will definitely check it out. That's an expensive straightener, $99. So hopefully it's good. Now, next up, we have the new company, Defense Drops. So what is this? This is your first line of defense against getting sick. Immune boosting liquid. What is that? Tinctured. What are these words sometimes? I don't know. But it contains a blend of. <laughs> oh my goodness. It contains a blend of herbs and immune. I don't even know, you guys. It's. It's. It is a herbal supplement is what it is. <laughs> this is naturally antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. Use it the first sign of a scratchy throat, sneeze to help support your body's immune response. Okay, so it retails for $35. This is actually kind of interesting. I, I, I will try it. It does have a safety seal. It has a medicine like not a, maybe not medicine kind of like a vitamin like smell, and I wonder if you just drop it on your tongue or do you mix it? I'm trying to see. So I guess you just kind of uh, drop it onto your tongue. It says one dropper full every day. I guess you could probably mix it in a drink or you could just drop it right into your mouth. I'll give it a try. I like I like stuff like that. I like to be healthy. <laughs> so and next in line, we do have the Lifestyle Company Babu Body Polish. Bamboo Body Polish. Okay, so this retails for... $49. The polish has a sustainable bamboo stem extract to achieve a gentle physical exfoliation for your self-care needs. Bamboo stem extract is derived from the interior portion of the plant that provides excellent exfoliation. Jacoba oil delivers a variety of fatty acids and is quickly absorbed into the skin, helping it feel softer and more nourished. Keep it in the fridge for an anti-inflammatory effects and boost circulation. So wait a minute, I'm confused about the keep it in the fridge part. It says it is vegan and paraffin free, vegan, paraffin and sulfate free, which is nice. So it does have a, ooh, it smells like coconut. It's got a really liquidy light consistent, so I don't want to spill it all over. But I guess I'm a little confused about what exactly it is. Is it like a body wash? Because then it was saying keep it in the fridge. It definitely has some crunchies in there. I can hear when I'm closing it. So it's definitely an exfoliator. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to give it a try for sure. Now I'm just worried about like, do I have to keep it in the fridge or what? I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> but okay. Now, last but not least, we do have from Grace and Stella hot and cold gel bead eye mask. This sleep mask soothes and adds comfort to your eye area. The microwave safe beads can be heated up or cooled down in the refrigerator. When the mask is cool, it can help with tired, puffy eyes and wake you up when you need it. When it's warm, it aids in getting a relaxing night's sleep as well as reducing congested sinuses and increasing blood flow to your eye area. The super soft plush backing makes it super comfortable. It retails for $18. Ooh, that's really cool. I really like this, actually. I'm excited for this. I do my, where I'll do like face masks, eye masks, and all of that a couple times a month, a couple times a month, a couple times a week. So I am excited to incorporate this. So one side is like the plastic, and you can see the beads in there. 
It's almost like a little stress reliever too. And then the other side is a really soft velvety feel. So yeah, I'm excited. This is nice. I like stuff like this. Anything to help me relax with all of the kiddos I got in this house. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we're going to use here and get on into the makeup look. Now, like I said, I am going to use my Pinky Rose Cosmetics I duo things and then put the new one into a giveaway because I don't need two of them. And by the way, I, I know I mentioned this, but it really is a great product. I love that product. So let's do that. And then we've got the mascara. We've got the lipstick. We do have the blotting powder and the cab cosmetics. Okay, so first let's go ahead and do our eyes. I already have primed and set my eyes. I use Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and in, in Fair and then I also set with this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl and Diamond Dust. Very pretty and I love setting with it. It just gives a really pretty sheen. So let me grab this and whoopsie get my mirrors set up here and get on this look. So the idea that I have today is kind of similar to the one that I recently did, but last time I used a little bit of Natasha Denona Chromatic Liquid Shadow in the middle of the lid just for some dimension. And this time we're going to go in in the middle of the lid with the KVD Dazzle Stick in Hail Surge. This is also something that came from BoxyCharm. So, but first and foremost, the first thing to do to start the look is go ahead and take the copper color and put it all over the lid. And I'm just doing stick to eye here. This is a really, really pretty copper color. And, and in fact, so I used it in the video of my unboxing for my paid for box. Then I also used these the next day for my work look. And I got so many compliments on my makeup that day. So I really like these. And another thing, they last. So yesterday was the day that I used them for work. And Saturdays are... 13, 14 hour shifts for me on my feet. It's my double shift day and I am literally there all day and all night running around. I still had to scrub this off when I got home. It was still there just like it was when I first placed it. So they last a long time, which is awesome. Now, the next step is to get yourself a domed blending brush. So... Where is the one that I want to use here? Okay, so I'm just going to use this, just a domed blending brush, and I'm just swiping it over the very edge of the makeup. So I'm not going over the whole lid, but what I'm doing is I'm just diffusing the line where it ends and just bringing it up a bit into the transition area so that it's not like a super harsh line and instead it fades. And I was actually surprised with how dense this color is and how easy it is to diffuse. So that is really nice. So as you can see, just kind of going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And then when I get to the end, I'm just kind of bringing it up a bit. Okay. 
hopefully next week I will have this big box of stuff that I ordered and I will be able to open up my 500 subscriber giveaway finally and my September giveaway part two. So I'm really excited for that. So yeah, this diffuses so nicely and easily, just like that. See, it went from just on the lid to just kind of diffused. So that is awesome. Now, the next part of the look, I am going to take the KVD Dazzle Stick. This is in Hail Surge. I love this product. It did take me some practice to figure out how to work with it. But this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty champagne color with a super foiled effect. And for me, the way that I found after trying a different bunch of ways is to apply it with my finger. And it's a very soft, strange consistency. And so I'm just picking some up on my finger like that. And I'm going to place it just in the center of my lid and just pat it right on to that other color, just keeping it in the center. And what it's going to do is just give some dimension to the look so that it's not all one dark copper lid. It's really pretty. I haven't used these in a minute. I'm gonna go in one more time just to really get that color on there. Now you gotta be careful when working with these because they can really, really texturize your lid. And that is why after playing with it, I've found for me, this is definitely the best way for application. Okay, so it gave a really, really pretty dimension to the lid there. It is really pretty. I think I want to go in with just a little bit more. <laughs> wow. So I will definitely get some close-ups for you because I know you won't be able to see as good on this camera. I'm just filming with an iPhone. Eventually, I hope to have, you know, some higher tech options to film with, but Right now, I'm just kind of doing the best that I can with what I have. So now there's a couple spots where I went a little higher than I wanted to, kind of like in the crease. So I'm just going to take that brush that I used to diffuse that first color and just gently swipe over that area and it will kind of just blend it out a bit. Yes, just like that. So that is actually really pretty. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take the other stick that was in the Pinky Rose package and I'm going to pop a little bit under the brow bone. Now this was so pretty for helping your highlight really stick to the look. And then I'm going to pop it in my inner corner as well like this and then I'm going to take a little tiny beauty sponge and kind of just press that in and then we're going to go over it with a highlighter finger in there for a second and just kind of blend that up on top too and this was so so nice for grabbing onto my highlight and really making it stick. I put a little too much on the inner corner, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. We will be able to work with it. So if you know me, you know I'm grabbing my Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter. I have a ton of them. This is my most recent one. It is the Retrogate Highlighter. I absolutely love it. I did get it out of BoxyCharm pop-ups last time and I am so happy with it. I actually was kind of bummed because I bought two of them and one of them came completely broken but I mean for the price I paid for it I'm just I'm not going to complain it is what it is. So do you see how it just grabs that highlight? So gorgeous. Really, really pretty. It's 
just a little bit more. I love my highlights. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we are at with this eye. What I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and check out the mascara together. Then I will finish the other eye off so that this video doesn't end up being like six years long. <laughs> and then we will come back and try out the other products together too. So let's go ahead and pop out the Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara. I have been loving trying new mascaras lately because my lashes have gotten so much better after using all of these lash serums that I've been getting from BoxyCharm. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. I know from personal experience, these are not usually my favorite, but we're going to give it a fair try. I'm drinking tea. Don't worry. I'm not doing my sip slips and makeup tricks this early in the day, but isn't this the cutest mug. This was a Christmas present. That is my 13-year-old son. He's a football player. Definitely my favorite coffee mug. <laughs> okay, so actually, you know what I do want to do? I want to prime my lids first before I go in with a mascara. That really, really does make a difference. And to be quite honest, I want to make it fair and so I can give the, the mascara a fair assessment because I would be doing this first with my other mascaras. So I feel like it's only fair to do it first now to give to give it a fair assessment. So this is actually another thing I got from BoxyCharm Pop-Up and it is the Pure Times Barbie Fully Charged Primer. It came with the primer and the mascara in the package. I got it from Pop-Up. And I've really, really been enjoying it. I love that line, the Pure Times Barbie line. And I just do a quick little coat of this. Okay, that is good. Give that a second to dry down. And go in with the Iconic London Mascara. Wow. Wow, that is, that is really something. I don't know what to think about it. It's very dramatic. It definitely lifts. Okay, I'm going to let you see. It's actually very, very dramatic. It's lifted, definitely dark, but it did get a little bit clumpy on me. And maybe it's because it's maybe it's not a good mix with the primer. So you, you don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, whenever I get clumps, I take this super cheap $3 um, Mega Plush Volume Express from Maybelline. And the way that the wand is, is if I ever went in with another mascara and it got clumpy on me, just a couple little swipes with this and it fixes it. So I'm going to do that really quick and see. Yeah, so that helped a ton. So honestly, okay. This mascara is intense. It lifts, it lengthens, but it did get a bit clumpy on me. So, but at the end of the day, it's not something that I can't fix. Like I can, I can fix it. 
So is it going to be my absolute favorite mascara? Oh, probably not, but I just got it on my makeup look too. But I don't think it's horrible. It's definitely dramatic. So, okay, that is that. Let's do, oh, you guys. So the pinky rose whitish color is a beautiful waterline for underneath. Um, it really opens up when you use a white color in the waterline there. And this literally stayed on my waterline all night. Like it didn't budge. So that was, I was really shocked by that actually. So I love that. Yeah, that, um, that mascara, I don't know about that mascara though. If you got it, let me know what you think about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to hop off. I'm going to do my other eye and catch up, and then we'll come back and try the rest of the products out together as well. Hey, babes, I'm back, and all I have done is finished off the other, other eye. I did the exact same thing as I did on the first one, and I have to say, I love these. These are amazing for quick, easy long lasting, very put together looks that are like a whole lot quicker than it looks like it took to do. So I love these. I loved the first one that I created. I loved the one that I did for work and I love this one as well. So as you can see, it just is a really pretty foiled, simple look and absolutely love them. Um, I will say I did struggle with this mascara a little bit and I want to mention that it's not necessarily a bad product. I think it comes down to preference. It's an extremely lifting and dramatic mascara. However, for me, I prefer my lashes fluffy and soft looking, and this kind of really lifts and stiffens. That's probably because it wants to hold the lift. That's what it claims it does, is keeps a lifted look all day. So just maybe not my particular favorite mascara, not a bad product, but Probably not my favorite, but we've got a couple more things to try out. We are going to try the Huda lipstick. I did also put on my base over my primer, some um, foundation, and it seemed to go over the Georgette Klinger primer amazingly. I think it looks very, very nice. I'm not noticing pores or fine lines. And so as far as I can tell so far, that primer is really good. I really enjoy that. I also put a little bit of blush on, and now we're going to do some contour. So let me find a brush. So I'm going to use this here, but let me make sure it's cleaned off so we can see what this product really looks like. These are great. I've mentioned them before. It's called the it's called um, Beauty Concept Blank Slate, and they're great for in between brush cleanings. So. I have to be really careful with what I contour with because it can come out too dark on me so quickly. So I think I'm going to mix a couple. I'm going to start with this one and maybe just a touch of that and then this one and see how it goes. Definitely getting a little bit of color, and I want—I would rather go back in and build up than have it too dark and just kind of ruin and take over the look. So let's go. I'm going to go in with this one and just a touch of this one and see. Yeah, I'm, I think my favorite products from this month are definitely the Pinky Rose. 
I really like the primer. Definitely the Glam Glow. So that is what we are getting on that side. I'm going to go ahead and do the other. I'm just going to kind of do it in the same way that I did it before on the other side. Wow, this side seems darker. That is what I didn't want to happen, but we'll blend it. See, I think I forgot to tap that time. <laughs> that does make a difference when you go in and then tap. It seems like a nice formula. Just kind of want to chisel that area out a bit. And then I think I'm gonna just kind of do a little on my forehead. Bronze that up a bit. I will say, I think the formula is very nice. We could try the, a little bit of, so I'm gonna take a brush like this, make sure that it's cleaned off. And I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent and just maybe a touch of vanilla bean and see how it goes for setting under eyes. I like a really brightened up under eye. Oh, wow, I really, really like that. Wow. My favorite thing to set with when it comes to setting face makeup is definitely my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Butter, which I also like, also got introduced through BoxyCharm, and I love that, but this is really nice. I really like that. It really, it's not texturizing my lines under there, which I really worry about. Let's try a little bit right here. I always like to set right here because that's where I've got my worst lines. Let's try and add a bit right here. Yeah, so I'm continuing to mix that translucent and vanilla bean. I really, really like that. As I'm like putting on a shit ton. <laughs> okay. So yeah, now we've got to try the Huda Beauty. I do have a couple liners picked out that I think might go well with it. Now I typically like really glossy looks, but this is a demi matte, so it's not a full matte. And if it's too matte for me and I like the color, I can always go in with a little gloss on top of it. So I was thinking with this color, we could go in with this Lorac or this Dose of Colors. I think I'm going to outline my lip here with, what is going on here? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> with the Dose of Color. I'm just outlining the outside of my lip. I haven't used this in a while. I got this out of, I swear, I get most of my stuff out of BoxyCharm. I got this out of BoxyCharm too a while ago. Okay, the moment of truth. It smells good. It feels really nice on the lip.
got a little bit of a plumping feeling, which I've heard other people say, and now I get it. <laughs> it definitely does. I actually really, really like this. I think maybe I wish it had a little bit of more of a pink tint to it, but they do have different shades. I would definitely be interested in picking this up in a couple other shades. So yeah, that is it. That is all of the products. Oh, well, we didn't get into this, but I wasn't really planning on, it's not like for a full set, you know, it's more like for touch-ups during the day. So I really, I don't know if anything's coming out of there. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Okay. So yeah, I just feel like this is kind of more for like a middle of the day touch up. So that is kind of what that is. But yeah, I mean, honestly, you guys, I would be decently happy with this if this was a box that I paid for. Um, I'm somebody who loves skincare, so to get the nice skincare in there is always exciting to me. I normally pick skincare for my choices. Like I said, I love the Pinky Cosmetics. I think that um, Grace and Stella eye thing is amazing. I think that getting a $100 straightener in the box is really cool. I mean, honestly, I think it's good. I don't know if it would have been my absolute favorite, but you can't beat the deals. And it's so much fun to get to try things. That's how we're able to find like our next holy grail with things. And there's no way a lot of us would be able to afford to try all of this stuff if it wasn't for BoxyCharm. So you can't be mad at that. I love BoxyCharm. And BoxyCharm, thank you so much for sending these over this month. This was a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see what we get next month. I'll be on soon. I'll be on next week, you guys, with my add-on order for this last past month because it's almost here. I think it'll be here Tuesday. So that is exciting. And until then, guys, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you soon in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and get yourself your entry for my September giveaway. Bye.